Good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Beta Edition on the left, latest release of sorts, and on the right hand side Pop OS 22.04. Now, bit of an apples to oranges video. Uh, you might consider these a little bit different, but they are the same in that they're both Linux, they're both based off Ubuntu, and in fact they're both based off the, the new long-term service release 22.04 of Ubuntu as well, at least that the Pop! OS version would suggest there as well. Now, uh, starting off, uh, let's have a little bit of a look. So the uh, that's the similarities of all listed out, but the differences are here. So the actual desktop environment itself. So Linux Mint running on the beautiful, crisp and clean cinnamon desktop environment, whereas Pop! OS is running on a highly customized version of a GNOME or GNOME desktop environment there, which I tend to like. So I'll have a look, little bit of a look. So first of all, Cinnamon on the left hand side, we've got our categorizations for apps. We can type in what we want and find out up there, that's great. Then we've got our little context menu there too. On the right hand side, we've got a few options here. So you can see the workspaces, which we can switch between quite easily. We've got our applications menu, which is also uh, clickable or reachable through down the bottom there and show applications. Uh, we can also search for the apps that we want, which is great. So uh, we've got some office apps categorized there, uh, system apps, utilities, and we can even make a new folder, new folder of apps of the choice. So, yeah, I can't really read that, but hey, here's what it is. Uh, let's uh, right click now, if I can, here we go. It's actually taken up a lot of CPU, I'm just noticing. Now, if you right click, I like this. So it's got a lot of context menu options. Now, both, you might consider these to be quite similar, but uh, with Pop! OS, uh, it's got a few more options than uh, other GNOME variants. Even Open Terminal, which I love to see, but you got that for both. Uh, next up, we have uh, the. Let's have a look at the the file manager, which is uh, helps assist with the look and feel of any desktop environment, and just stands out beautifully. We've got this beautiful dark mode with this uh, light blue and white color scheme here on the right hand side for Pop OS. On the left hand side, as we can guess, the the, the greenish color scheme there. Uh, but uh, on the right hand side, we are using the GNOME or GNOME files file manager. On the left hand side, we're using the Nemo file manager. But much of a muchness, really. And uh, as I, I, I always like to repeat, uh, right click, open in terminal, keeps me happy. Next up, let's have a little bit of a look at the, the back end here and see what we're dealing with. So this should be pretty similar to some of this stuff here. So particularly the kernel. So the kernel is the 5.15 kernel for Linux Mint 21. And uh, interestingly, the 5.16 kernel for Pop! OS. So the long-term service release started to push out the, the 5.15 kernel there. Uh, but uh, Pop! OS is actually even more recent than that. So props to them. Most other versions of Ubuntu uh, with the Ubuntu long-term service release version 2, 2.22.04. It's actually 5.15, but much of a muchness, so they're very similar either way. Last but not least, and take these values with a bit of a grain of salt, as I always say, but uh, RAM usage on boot up, and we're going to see some really big differences here. So starting off, uh, 688 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint 21, Cinnamon Edition, which is actually beta. It might be better. Uh, the beta might turn out to be better when it's on the full release. Beta better. Uh, gonna almost twist my words there. And uh, let's see, Pop! OS 1.33 gigabytes of RAM. Now this is unfortunately pretty common to any GNOME desktop uh, or based environment there. It's always going to use a lot more, so easily double the amount of RAM. Definitely need to take this into consideration if you're using an older netbook, notebook, anything with book. Uh, MacBook, that kind of thing there. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, and that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button. And I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.